peace, y'all. So, I just had a a, a deep um, experience of the way that God communicates, right? So, so you know, I'm sitting. I was sitting over here going over my uh, my Heheru lecture that I, uh, you know, I kind of was basically redoing my Heheru lecture. So I was looking in the Medunit's hair. My old beat up Medina chair, you know, you see this joint is like, like that John, you know, I've been through it. It's been it's been through the ringer with me, right? So I was, you know, just kind of looking through the pages and I, I noticed this rip here on the page. I hope y'all can see it. I can't really can see what y'all can see. But I saw that rip and I said, oh, okay. That's something that I gotta pay attention to. So let me look at that. Let me, you know, I, I, it just, you know, it just occurred to me like that in my head, like right then, right? See, you know, lots of times that's the Sheps, that's the Sheps saying, "Look, you know, look at this. You know, this is significant. Check this out." So I look, and that right there, where it's ripped, is speaking about the Sheps, and it's an Amen Sheps combination. And it says, success will be achieved by following the great one who rests in Amenta. And so I said, oh, okay, yeah, that's kind of, you know, I'm, I'm, that's, that's kind of what I'm on right now. I'm definitely trying to, you know, communicate with the Sheps and have them communicate through and with, with and through me. So, you know, it was, it was righteous. So I said, you know, so, something else, not I said, but I listened to something else that said, yeah, now turn the page. There's something else on the other side that you got to see. So I turn the page, and it just happens to be right on my incarnation objective. The reading that I did, I don't know, maybe 30 years ago, about what is the reason I came to earth, why I should be here, was Amen Tuchas, Sebek Tuchas. And... This is right where this this rip is on the other side of the page, right here at my incarnation objective section explanation of this book, right? And I just you know so as I said, let me read, let me read my incarnation objective, something I haven't read in a long time, in the book. It says his reasons for being and doing are based on the knowledge of his essential state of his being, good fortune, a good diviner of lots. <laughs> I find that so funny, you know, I find that just, that's just God again, like, talking to me, like, you know, I never, you know, I'm sure I read this a thousand times a long time ago, you know, I, I read this a long time ago, like, yeah, you know, my, my incarnation objective, but, you know, you, you you don't only read that little line and get what you get, you know, you kind of go in the trance, you, you know, you deal with life, you deal with your you know, the various things of life to kind of sum up what your incarnation objective is. But, you know, so in other words, I'm saying, like, my interest in divination didn't come because I read that line. Like, that, you know, the reading spoke about my person and who I would be. <laughs> you know, I'm in Sebek, right? You know, I'm going to, you know, <sighs> you know, you can't make this stuff up. You know what I mean? This this is like, it's God talking, you know? I'm in Sebek, a good diviner of lots. Like, that speaks for itself. That's, and, you know, I, I, somehow I, I get the inkling to, you know, come to YouTube and, like, you know, teach you guys about divination. You know, you can't make this stuff up, man. When you tune yourself to, you know, God and the Spirit, you know, like, it speaks, you know, that speaks, speaks through you. So yeah, I just wanted to share that because that just just happened, and I just thought it just real deep, funny, <laughs> you know, just another way that God speaks.